Hi, I'm Allie. You may remember me as Baba Sheep from Mother Goose Club. But I'm embarking on a new adventure with my friend, Alfie. Join us as we explore the fascinating animal kingdom. Wild, wild, wild. It's Wild Wild Wow! Allie, I discovered that there's a really strange creature living under the sea, and it's not a fish. That sounds interesting, Alfie. What is it? It's coral. I always thought coral was just spiky rock, but it's a live animal. Correct, Alfie. And there's another strange spiky animal that lives under the sea, and it's very helpful to coral. Really? What animal is that? Let's take a look at it. I'm sure you'd like to see it too. Come on guys, time to visit the Creature Scope. Are these animals very rare, Allie? Not at all. They can be found in every ocean on Earth. Take a peek. Hmm, I see some tiny fish near a black spiky plant. That's not a plant, Alfie. Let's take a closer look at it. Its spikes are moving. Right. It's a live animal called a sea urchin, and those spikes are called spines. The sea urchin uses them to protect itself from fish that want to eat them. Are they very big animals? No, sea urchins are quite small creatures. Their spines look dangerous. If you touch them, they can be quite painful, but otherwise sea urchins are harmless. Oh, look! This one's a different color. It's called a purple urchin. Altogether, there are more than a thousand types of sea urchins. They come in all colors, shapes, and sizes. Many sea urchins can live for a hundred years, but the red sea urchin can live for 200 years. Wild, wild, wow. But Allie, you said sea urchins were helpful to coral. How are they helpful? Sea urchins eat things called plankton and algae that grow on coral faces. If the urchins didn't do that, then the coral would die. So sea urchins are like underwater vacuum cleaners. That's right. They're very important for keeping not just coral, but all the world's oceans clean and healthy. Amazing. Do you think we can make a little sea urchin? I think so. Come on, everyone. Time for a ride in the Zippy Zoomer. <laughs> Ready, everybody? Let's wild, wild, wow! Hey there, kids, come gather around. Come meet the animals, adventures abound. Learning, exploring, let's seize the day. Come on, let's play! Yay! Hills to jungles and seas, up in the sky to the trees. Yeah, it's wild, wild. Okay, Ellie, show us how we can make a sea urchin. Will do. All we'll need is some purple Play-Doh, purple paint, a paintbrush, toothpicks, a foam block, and some gloves because this is gonna get messy. First, I'm going to grab a handful of my toothpicks and then I'm going to paint them purple. After I do that, you can put them into the foam block for them to dry. Mm. You may need to ask your grown-up to help you with this part. Do not try this without adult supervision. Done. Now, we will need to wait for our toothpicks to dry. All dry. Now, we're going to take our purple Play-Doh and roll it into a ball. How's that? Mmm, nice. And then, we're going to take our toothpicks and stick them all around. You wanna help me? Sure. <laughs> Just like this.
Wow! That's real easy. I'll make a whole bunch of them and paint them different colors. And you can make them at home too. And then you'll have a sea urchin collection. Ready for a bit of fun, guys? I hope so, because it's time to guess which animal I am. I'm a small flying insect with a single pair of wings. My body is black, and I taste things with my feet. I eat just about anything, but I especially love garbage. Can you guess which animal I am? Yes, I'm a housefly. It's been great having you with us today. We hope you've enjoyed meeting our animal friends. But before we go, we want to remind you that we always say, It's, it's wild, 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 wow! It's, it's wild, wild, wild! wild.